I know this is new. Please stop this. I know you're still in there somewhere. I know you're filled with hate right now, but I know you can overcome it. It's not too late. I know this isn't who you really are. I know you can turn back to normal. Even if you don't think so, I still believe in you. Did you really believe that was going to work? My loathsome friend! What's next, brother? We have to stick to the plan, of course. We need to annihilate every positive feeling. They will all learn what real pain is. Just like you did, Blue. And you know what? It's all your fault, Ink! You can't even save your own friends! Kara. Papyrus. If a human ever comes through this door, could you promise me something? Watch over them and protect them, would you? Hey, you've been busy, haven't you? So, partner, you sure were enjoying yourself back there. There's one thing that's been bothering me. I don't quite understand why you did all this. Through sheer boredom, you slaughtered them all. Did, Did you, you even, even feel, feel any remorse? remorse? So what? Did you honestly come here with my brother? Just so you could have a final fight with me? Before you erase my world? What? <laughs> no! I came here with your precious brother. <laughs> 
So he could have his final fight with you! Why are you doing all of this? You really want to know the reason? You're all just dirty little glitches in the multiverse. Somebody has to fix this mess. You should be happy, perhaps. this time. <laughs> it's so funny. Just one hit. And it's, it's all, all over. over. <laughs> Sans, I am glad to see you again, bro. Papyrus! I'm so sorry! Time to say goodbye. The boss is waiting for you. Is that any way to greet a new friend? Friends? Sorry, but we're not looking to make friends. Now while we're at it, why don't I ask you something? Who are you freaks? <laughs> if you want to get any information out of us, you should put those knives down, kid. And why the hell would I do that? How did these guys get here? <sighs> Tell us what you're doing here. And then we'll talk about putting down the knives. It wouldn't hurt to be a little nicer. Maybe if you stop holding these knives to our throats, you'd get some information. I know they're suspicious, but we need information that they're obviously not willing to give unless we play their game. <sighs> if they found us, there must be a way out of here. Maybe we can figure out how to leave this place. We can't learn the truth unless we give them a chance. Huh? <sighs> 
see? No need for violence. We can talk things up. We did what you wanted. But we're not alone here. The human can show up at any moment. Don't worry about them coming in and causing any interruptions. We've got someone taking care of them. Tell us who you are and why you're here. We travel to other worlds. We give them another chance. Another reason to live. You will die! become their heroes. We felt the hope inside of you. Then we saw what you've been through. Our boss has decided to help you. So, he sent us. We are the saviors. What if we refuse your offer? Oh, that would be a big mistake. I mean, you want to leave this place, don't you? You have to decide now. Either you come with us and leave this endless loop. Or stay stuck here with that human forever. So what will it be, Bad Time Trio? I don't trust them. They just showed up out of nowhere, offering us a deal we have to accept. How can we be sure they are telling us the truth about giving us our freedom? Papyrus is right. This could be a setup. They never mentioned anything about themselves, so they may have ulterior motives. Why would they have any reason to deceive us in the first place? To catch us off guard. Stab us in the back? Seems they're onto us. Let's make this quick. Hey, other me. There's no need for you to overthink this. We don't have all day. Damn, we need to think of something fast. Otherwise, this isn't going to end well. <gasps> There's a familiar feeling coming from this guy. But why is it only him? More importantly, where have I felt this before? <sighs> no, it can't! He can't be like them! Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's just my imagination. <sighs> but we can't miss an opportunity like this. We've got no other choice. We accept your offer. <coughs> we want to get out of here. And since we have this chance, why not take it, right? I'm also really curious about your world. I hope I get to meet your brother, buddy. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> For a second. I really hope to run like them. 
Damn it, Dust. Why did you keep that stupid scarf? So, buddy, I've got a question for you. And this time, I want to know the truth. If your brother is still alive, then why the hell do you have his scarf? And why is it covered in dust? It's okay. I know who the scarf is. you. Right? If this will help you, then... It had to be done. I needed more LV. It was better if I did it myself. No. I would never hurt my brother. But we did. You are wrong. We are not the same. By killing the ones you loved most. You are not me anymore. Nor a monster. No. You are just... A megalomaniac. This is the moment where everything ends. You were supposed to be the judge, not the executioner. And because of that... <sighs> you are gonna have a bad time. It was fun playing the good guy while it lasted. However... It's time to wrap up. I agree with you, killer. I'm warning you. Give the scarf back so we can end this. The only ending here... It's your judgment!